In this problem, we're dealing with flower boxes. So here we've got these flowers, and we're going from pounds to ounces, or ounces to pounds. How do I know? Well, because they're giving us that connection here, right? They're giving us the relationship. They want us to use this relationship to solve the problem. So here, the flower block, <laughs> the flower box in front in front of the main city library weighs 100 and 24 ounces. What does the flower box weigh in pounds? So X pounds, how many pounds is that? Well, what do we know? Well, we know that 16 ounces, again, I just, I mean, here I chose to put the ounces in the numerator in this fraction. So if I did that here, I should also do that in this fraction, since these two fractions should be equal, right? We're making a proportional relationship. So if 16 ounces, um, is what we have, and that we know that equals one pound from that's what we're given right here. We can solve this. So basically, what I'm going to look at is there's two ways to look at this. I could look across here, 16 times what gives me 124, or I can look up. And I'm going to look up because what this tells me is that I go from one pound to 16 ounces by multiplying by 16. Well, I'm going to do the same thing here x pounds times 16 equals 124 and then so what do I have to multi what number times 16 is 124 that's going to be equal to 124 divided by 16 which I guess I could have also seen easily if I had gone across right 16 times what gives me 124 that's kind of what I'm solving here because 16 times some mystery number will give us 124 and that and that of course will tell us the pounds right we're trying to find that number times 16 that gives us 124. Let's look at my options right here. C and D make no sense in this context, right? Because um, these numbers are enormous, right? 16 can't go into 124, 868, or 1,984 times. So here what I'm going to do is say, well, what is how many times does 16 go into 124? Well, it's either going to be 7 and a half or 7 and 3 fourths. So on the side, I'm going to take 16 times 7 and see what I get. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 10 is 70. Plus 4 is 74. Right? So 7 times 6, 42, 7, and then, oop, what am I saying? Sorry. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 10 is 70. And this 4 is a 40. Good thing I said that. Um, sorry, so 70 plus 40 is what? Well, that's 110. So it's 2 and 110. That equals 112. So 16 times 7, right, equals 112. We're trying to get to 124. So what's 124 minus 112? Well, that equals 12. So this number right here equals, well, 7 and with a remainder of 12 out of 16. But notice here, 12 out of 16 has been reduced. How do I do that? Well, 12 and 16 have a common factor, which is 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 on both numerator and denominator. That's right over here. 12, 16, divided by 2, divided by 2. That gives me 6 over 8, divided by 2 again, divided by 2. We get 3 over 4. So this really equals 7 and 3 fourths, which is the answer for B. All right, hope that helped.